Here we go, baby. It's fight night. It's Thursday. You guys ready? I'm ready. Hope the trailer pumped you all up. Pump me up. I'm ready. Fila's ready. Johnny's ready. Superstars of Training versus Perfectly Balanced. We have a great matchup this afternoon or night or morning, wherever you are in the world. Thank you all for joining us. We're going to get started in just a minute here. We are ready for a couple big things this week. We have this matchup, great matchup. Uh, might have some more matchups tonight around 10 o'clock Pacific. We'll see about the timing there. And then this Saturday around 5 p.m. Pacific, we're going to be casting War 3 Champions uh, Day 2. So that's going to be really exciting. We're going to be casting alongside Back to Warcraft. Uh, they'll be uh, casting Stream A. I'll be casting Stream B. But we're not going to talk about that right now. We're going to get right into the game here. Game 1. Fila versus Johnny. Alright. And in the bottom left corner, our yellow undead player, Slayer of Humans. We have Fila, the Mindbender. And in the top right... Wearing the red cloth. It is Johnny77. Undead conqueror of Northern Isles. Now what I expect to see this game. We, are, we do know we're going up against Undead. Not quite sure how Fila likes to play. But looking like we're going to see DK Fiends. That's not known yet, of course, by Johnny. But expect to see Archmage coming out quickly. Maybe creep this orange. Then maybe this camp. Then maybe an expo. Or just go quicker to the expo. Maybe hit this green. Then a fast expo. I would all but guarantee a fast expo is coming. From our human player, Fila. Or sorry, Johnny. Now for Fila, probably going to see a Death Knight trained as soon as uh, this altar is done. Might take one camp and then probably going to head over right to the expo. Fully expecting it to be coming up. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some battle at the Expo this game. Tomb Relic's coming up. Going to buy a couple rods and Necromancy right off the bat. Let's see if we do see the standard play here. DK Fiends. There it is. Death Knight on the way. Archmage well on the way. But that's kind of the trade-off of this build. You get Fiends a little earlier. Death Knight a little later. You know, your Death Knight's really here to be uh, harassing the Human Expo anyway. So as long as he's out on time to get over here, when the Human is doing their best to get that Expo up and running, you'll be in pretty good shape. It's going to be tough. It does require quite a bit of micro. you got to preserve Peasant Deaths. Make sure Footies don't fall too far. You're going to want to bring about six Militia here. Only five. So we'll see how this goes. Unfortunately, one did get trapped, but Water Elemental is soaking a lot of damage. That's really good. You want to keep that going here. Blood Mage is rolling out onto the creeps. Moving that footy back. like to see that. You can attack your own Water Elemental and, and drop threat because you're still getting attacked by this trapper. Unfortunately, one footy looks like it is going to fall. That is a loss you really want to avoid as the human creeping. You need every footman you could get to defend against the incoming harassment of this undead player, which is almost certainly on the way. Two fiends are already out. Two skeleton minions also helping with the creeping initiative here of the undead player early on. Player Going for that second green back. camp here, Johnny. Typical route for an early expo. I do ex expect a fourth farm. Oh, we're not going to fast expo. We're going to go for the uh, fast tech instead here. And this DK may be a little bit surprised when he goes to the mine and doesn't see him there. And there you go. Wish we had a live reaction on a, a live webcam. So now Fila knows no fast expo attempt can safely assume going right to tier two. Also, the undead matching the tech. Human tech is a little bit faster in this game. Water elementals out. Love to see them taking a little bit more damage from these creeps as the footies continue to take down this yellow laboratory camp. Death Knight going to creep some of the humans' green camps, make it a little harder for the MK to get started. And maybe just continue to patrol around the Expo. Make sure 
no expos get up but but honestly at this point in the game if you don't see the human expo you're not gonna see it at least until i don't know the, the six to eight minute mark when the mk is out maybe the mk comes over and creeps this and brings some militia over but you're not gonna see it for another couple minutes i would say uh so just gonna take it anyway it's an easier camp to take i'm dead just gonna just gonna take it And Johnny may return the favor. Might might come and creep his expo. That, see, people at GNL are just so friendly to one another. They 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 love to creep each other's expos, help each other out. We're all about helping out here. Uh, don't see level three skilled yet. Would have loved to see this be a level two water elemental. That would have helped very much with the creeping here. Gonna want to get that level three skilled up on that archmage. A little mechanical error there, but. Something that's easily recoverable. Just as long as you get that skilled before your first encounter, you should be okay. Checking on the macros here. Necropolis almost done getting into tier 2. Probably going to see a lich and some statues. Slaughterhouse on the way. Lumber mill here. Help with the lumber economy. Also maybe get a guard tower or two up. And our first encounter here. The level 2 water metal is out. That's just on time. A couple injured footies going to want to bring those back. But they are going to target the injured... Uh, injured Fiend here. The Micro is just enough to get it back and put it out of harm's way. And maybe a Skeleton Warrior will fall, but the Undead seems to be able to pull everything back just in time to lose nothing and in trade for one or two Footman Deaths. I don't recall. At least one. It might have been two. And to return the favor, the Human's going to take over this green camp, much like the Undead took over this green camp. How nice. A player's forces are under attack. Going for the Tuscar camp, undead player here. Hoping to get level 3 out of this, and certainly will. It's going to be nice to have those potent coils coming from the Death Knight. As we'll easily be able to take down the rest of this camp. Uh, unfortunate ensnare for the, uh, for the fiend here. Human trying to decide where he wants to go next. And this is where some of the... Uh, me, myself included get kind of hung up in this mid-game area it's like you know you got to get your mk to level three you know the creep route to get your first hero to level three you know that really well but then i also tend to get caught up in what's the most efficient creep route to get my mk to level three and i think it's this point in the game where you start seeing a divergence between the re the good players and the average players so MK has begun. You're going to want to see this Archmage summon a War Elemental and probably run back. Run back over to here. So your MK can soak all this experience and guarantee a level 2. Meanwhile, Lich is online. No items yet. And now discovering that this camp has already been taken and maybe going to visit the human base. Players' forces are under attack. Alright, we see some Skeleton Warriors here. They're also just scouting that Espo, making sure it doesn't come up unknowingly. You want full knowledge of when that Expo comes up, and you're going to want to hit it before it gets up and starts mining. Pretty standard game so far. Lich and DK soaking up as much XP as possible. Human's going to want to focus on getting this Mountain King up to level 3. That level 4 Archmage isn't doing as much value as a level 3 MK could be right now. So definitely want to focus on pulling this Archmage back in these camps where you know you can easily creep them. Get that Wardo Mental up front, soaking the damage. Have this MK handling. There you go, just like that. Have the MK soak up all that XP by itself. And I'm not sure if Undead follows a similar strategy here and, and you want to soak the Lich up to level 3 for that level 2 uh, Nova, which is extremely potent. Because Unholy Aura for the Death Knight really does help with movement speed, be able to navigate around the map, get to creep camps faster, run away, kite, poke. Also with the health regen. Very powerful aura. Same can be said for Brilliance. Brilliance level 2 is also very strong. Some rifles coming for our human player. Also behind it, some casters. Mo have fully transitioned to rifle caster, it looks like, for the human. And a little creep jack from Johnny. Lich in here. Lich wants a piece of that footman. There is an injured footy in the back. One Nova could really change the state of this battle here, but no Novas yet. Could certainly take a footman, maybe two, with one well-placed Nova here. 
One down, and there is that Nova. Now the footy is in critical position, and one clap does end the life of that fiend. Lich is in trouble. Lich is getting focus fired. It does get focus fired. Watch out for that death knight. You need to get it into safety, but the MK also taking some critical damage from the death coils. Invuln pop just in time. Mountain King runs back into position, and a coil shuck off by the MK. MK has nine health left and will live to see another battle. Need to get that MK healed up as the undead retreats 3 HP. Reported from Weirsay, wow. Living on the edge. Still living on the edge. Incredible. Well played by the human, minimal losses there. Undead did lose the Lich, gonna wanna get this water elemental into play here. I don't know how that MK survived. Does it have, like... It doesn't even have the Rune Bracers. I thought it was for sure dead. Uh, and very good, you know, focus casting heal on the MK. You're going to want to keep that Priest focus healing that MK for quite a while. Just have it follow it around the map till it's back up to full. Very nice. Ring of Protection. DK is going to like that. And A-Bomb's coming out to help support the front line here. Both statues rolling. Health and mana regeneration. Undead's in a pretty good spot. And yes, as Weirsay noted, definitely want to get that orb over to the Lich. Does not do nearly as much on the DK as it would on the Lich. Lich can get really good value out of that orb. Thank you so much for the follow. Brickball, appreciate it. And the human continuing to creep, taking over the first red camp of the game. And the item is the Belt of Giant Strength. Or was it the Helm of Valor? It might have been the Helm of Valor. Uh, one of these two. I didn't quite see what it was. Uh, but similar to how you want the orb on the Lich, you're also going to want a nice orb of fire on the Archmage. It really helps deal with the coils. It really reduces the healing income from the statues and from the coils. All right, level four, level three for the human player. And a pally to coming out to support. Drop some holy lights as well. Definitely always want to get that third hero. Nice coil on the A-bomb, getting it back up to about 60% health as the Lich looking to get level three and a much more potent, powerful coil, uh, Nova. Sentry wards. Get some nice vision for the undead player. Going to try to maybe get a surround here. Lock down this A-bomb. Would be a nice capture from the human player. Going to drop a thunderclap to slow it down, but the... You know, now the MK is in a vulnerable position here. Potentially going to get focus fired down. We do have a Nova. We do have a Coil. This MK needs to watch out. A lot of single target damage, but the Holy Light right back onto it. Death Knight falls, but Death Knight has Ankh. Human pressing deeper into the undead army. Knight, uh, Death Knight is back. Needs to get to better position here to avoid getting focused by uh, low mana on the MK. So no stuns yet. And Pally does not get a Holy Light on that Fiend to try to knock it out before it does TP away. Orb did get on the Lich, so that's good. But one Fiend is left behind and the Sentry Wards. So one of the human heroes probably going to want to pick this up. Drop a couple wards around the map. That will certainly help you into the mid-late game. Expect to see some Knights starting here. Maybe even want to get an Expo up to match this Expo. I don't think it's been scouted. So I don't think... Johnny knows about this, and this could be the difference maker in this matchup, this expo right here. If you allow the undead to get a severe economic advantage, it really could turn the tide of this game, as you're not going to be able to match it with the amount of knights and potentially amount of gyros if we start getting destroyers. But Human definitely has the hero advantage. Level 5 Archmage, going to want to pull that back. He's soaking XP that he can't even take right now. And the Cadgar's Pipe, gonna want to sell that. That's useless right now because it does not stack with Brilliance Aura coming from the Archmage. So that'll be a smooth 200-ish gold coming to Johnny, which will be much needed to start producing some Knights, but really gonna stay Rifles, it seems, for the time being. Gonna go Master Training, potentially some Inner Fire Rifles. Stick with the basics here. All right, and the battle has begun. A Nova onto the Rifleman. Big, fat water elementals are now in place, doing a lot of damage to this Death Knight. One abomination is going to fall, granting the MK level four. We need to get some more potent coils, and Nova's going onto this rifle back line here. Fiends are falling fast by the melee attacks and the focus fire of these rifles. 
Holy Light's going off onto the rifles as well. One more fiend potentially going to fall here. Ward Elemental right in the front line, ready to soak any damage that the undead wants to bring. All fiends have now fallen. Stun DK is going to result in the death, and Fila calls GG. Game one going to Johnny on Northern Isles. Really good matchup there from Johnny. O opting not to fast expo, quite surprising on Northern Isles. You typically really see a lot of human players fast expoing on Northern Isles, so didn't quite see that this game. But it was just enough. Went with the classic rifle caster. Inner fire was on the way. And it paid off. Didn't even need an expo. Undead was expoed, but just didn't quite have the, the raw numbers and the hero levels to deal with the human. The human hero levels were really in a great position there. All right, not quite sure what the game name is. Hopefully we get a whisper or Discord message soon. Uh, okay, got it. All right, we're in. Let's start a prediction for this game. Who takes game two? Fila is on the back foot here. Gonna need to really step it up. Johnny had a strong performance that game. Didn't even need the expo. Had a much better creep route. And we will settle the score on Tidehunters. So the opponents work out the best server for their pings. I think we have a European player playing with a, an NA player. Sometimes... It's a little difficult to find the right server to make everybody happy. Can I bet on the game too with my ch with my channel points? Am I allowed? Predict. It doesn't let me. Oh, rigged, right? <laughs> oh well. I want to. It won't let me. It lets me highlight my own messages, but it won't let me predict. Oh wait, maybe it will. Streamers can't predict on their own channel. Oh, well, there you go. All right, well, while we're waiting here, we'll get some, some dramatic music. Looks like a lot of people want to support Johnny here. Fila, only 28% of the vote. in the game too because nothing else is close well the loser picks here right so Fila Fila gets to pick I guess get would get the advantage right thanks alter ego appreciate the follow hope you're looking forward to a nice game too uh, what was EU North what's EU North uh, now Johnny gets the advantage uh, I don't know what the protocol is here, but looks good to me. A hundred, I think, is doable. A hundred's playable, right? It is to me. I think we're good. Our opponents are ready. Johnny took game one. No expo. One base. Rifle caster. Fila. Expoed. Fiends. Couple statues. Low hero levels. Was not able to take it as we head to Tidehunters. For game two. All in on Fila, coming from Brickball. I love it. I love when someone is confident about their bet. And similar opener, Fila, to last game. Gonna go Fiends DK, looks like, again. Standard opener here, no, uh, nothing like Rifle Pally or coming like that. Probably gonna see Archmage. Will we see a fast expo on Tidehunters? I like the fast expo when I play on Dead. So we'll see. But for now, we have to wait. Damn this mountain signal. You uh, stream from a cell phone? Trying to watch a stream on a cell phone? And 
yeah, really liked the performance last game from Johnny. Had a couple minor creeping uh, you know, deficiencies that, that could be better to get that Mountain King to level 3 even quicker. Uh, solidifying an even greater lead. But it was enough, you know. Fila didn't quite have the game that they wanted to. And we hope to see some improvements from Fila. Bring it to a game 3. I think the big disadvantages there really came down to uh, the, the unit count. Uh, so some of the micro, you know, having, having a little bit better micro there, but but not too much. Just just a better unit count and better hero levels. It really came down to uh, just dominant hero levels. Level 5 Archmage, um, a level 3 MK, the Pally hit level 2. And I think your highest hero level on the Death Knight was level 4 and like a, and a level 3 Lich. So, you know, that level, that level 3 Water Elemental was really causing you a difficult time. And that MK stun... Not having a silence from a Dark Ranger or a third hero might have set you back as well. And standard creeper out here. Going to want to kill the Sea Giant quickly to avoid the AoE. As you can see the AoE there. Taking damage on both the Militia and the Footy. Under attack. As we pull it into the Blight here to make creeping a little bit easier for the Undead. Able to get some of that healing regen on the Blight. A little Claws of Attack for the Archmage. Love that. Never going to argue with that. And potentially a uh, expo attempt. Only two farms. Three farms, so maybe not. We see that fourth farm come up. And we're not going for the mine. Going for maybe this green camp first. Or this one. Alright, going to go for that one. Meanwhile, in the northwest. Vila continuing to finish off this first orange creep. Johnny finishing up the easier green camp next to the base. Very nice. Skeleton Warrior going out to scout. Going to make sure that expo is not coming up. Because if it is, you need to get over there ASAP and disrupt it. Heading over to the more difficult mine, potentially. Level 7 turtles do hurt. Chaos damage. going to go for it. We are going to expo this mine. So advantage here is this expo, you know, usually people are checking this expo and not as frequently checking this one. Also, this one grants much more XP. Definitely, I'm assuming you'll get to level 3 here. Meanwhile, creeping the green camp over here. Letting those skeletons take all the damage. Very nice. And taking this turtle down quite effortlessly as we're hoping for level three here i'm not sure if this route does get level three it does very nice solid route so this this creep then this creep then this creep getting attack. level three and a expo very nice from johnny here all right coming back over to the center of the map fila continuing creep route here trying to soak as much damage and take over this merchant get first access some nice items there. It also takes the snapper's item. It was a mantle. Are you going to try to go for this red camp here, Johnny? Nope. Going to go for the orange as well. Watch out for the... You could bait the lightning shield here. Purge on that water metal. You can also avoid that. Summoning the water metal late or... Having the water elemental on the move command, not attacking, and it doesn't get purged. Are under Potentially going to go for an expo attempt in the northernmost part of the map as Fila wants to take down this expo, get some items, potentially some more gold economy. Tier 2 almost up. Meanwhile, human still on tier 1. And towering up the expo, Arcane Vault is online and ready to go. Fila is fire. Coming from the chat. Under Love to see the support for our Gym Newbie League participants. Alright, selling that Wand of Lightning Shield, and we're gonna... Gotta know this is a illusion by now. Don't get too excited. Alright, checking on the macros here. Going right to Tier 3. Lich on the way. 
65% done. Death Knight getting prepared. Potentially gonna scout. We knows the Expo's up now. Sent the Illusion over there. So we know where the Expo is. But the Expo is heavily defended right now. Gonna have this Scout Tower up by the time he gets there. This one will have started upgrading. Blacksmith's coming up. Maybe some more rifles like last game. Rifle Caster did do Johnny really well last game. Update the uh, War 3 booster scores there. Johnny's up 1 0. Best of 3. Ring of Regeneration. Who's it gonna go to? Got the purge here. Might want to wait for that first purge before you summon the water metal, or it is gonna get purged just like that. Lose about half its health. If you had just waited just a, a split second there, cast it after, cast the purge, you'd have a a water mental with a lot more health, able to soak a lot more damage there. And then you could just focus down the purge creep. Meanwhile, over here, gonna take on this chaos damage gargantuan sea turtle. Maybe try to get that lich up to level 3 quicker than last game. Those, some really potent Nova coils can really turn the game around. The focus fire on something like an Archmage. It really makes it tough for the human to stay into these battles. Meanwhile, last game, not enough focus fire on the weaker heroes like the Archmage. And these armies are going to collide here on the western side of the map. There you go. Nova Coil ran on the Archmage. Already lost 60% of its health pretty much instantly before the battle even began. And the Undead is smartly going to run away, get into better position here. Because you're not in a great position. You kind of got caught on your heels. And now you have enough mana for another Nova Coil on that Archmage. You can potentially put it in a really tough spot. And there it is. Archmage does pop a healing potion. Getting it into a healthy state. Footies now have Defend. Ready to swarm the fiends and get in them right in their faces. Burrow online, but not enough. A little too late. Archmage hits level 4. Footies are on the way. Trying to get into the fiends' faces. Slice them up any way they can. One fiend does fall. Two fiends remaining against three footies. A potent Nova and a potent coil taking out the remainder of the footmen from Johnny, but so many water elementals that are level three here. They have so much health and deal so much damage. It's gonna be tough to... Like, you're gonna survive here, but it's gonna be tough to keep those fiends alive until you push them back, so really good to see that. Burrowed fiend gonna get healed right up and held it off quite well. You kept damage on the Archmage to start, forced the health pot, and then started targeting the footman. Pretty much resulted in zero army. Now, if you look, 26 food for Johnny. A lot of that's invested in peasants. 21 of it is invested in peasants. So no army right now. Very vulnerable. And you have to know this. Like, you, you know you just took out all the footmen. It's very vulnerable state, but what is unfortunate is the expo is well defended as is the base it's so hard to push into these bases with uh, a smaller army like this but looks like we may see some destroyer play coming in to fruition here take down his camps tome of intellect going to lich increasing mana regen mana capacity attack damage can't can't argue with that Lich is about to be level 3 as well. This this camp will get the Lich level 3. Those Novas, those level 2 Novas are going to hurt a lot more than level 1. That Archmage needs to be very careful because the Archmage is going to be a lot of trouble after level 2 Coil and level 2 Nova. Also, Death Knight slowly on the way to level 5. Level 3 Death Coil hurts even more. And not much for the, uh, for the human player. 31 food. I don't think you could carry... I mean, the MK is strong, but not a level 1. If you get caught right now, three fiends, maybe morph a destroyer or two. If you can get, if you can lock in a surround on a on an arc mage with a nova slow, human's gonna be in rough shape right now. Needs to get an army up and get an army up quick. Flying machines, opting for a second barracks, gonna go knights, flying machines, and uh, flat cannons as well. Potentially a scout has been done, and we know destroyers are coming online. Here they are. However, this MK is going to be in a vulnerable position if he gets scouted early enough and is able to turn around and haul ass out of there before things got too out of hand. 
Again, what's nice for Johnny here is has very reinforced bases. It's going to be hard to push these in. It's going to give Johnny enough time to sit back and get the army composition he needs. But if you sit back for too long and you allow these undead heroes to start leveling up, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. The red camp's still available. This is going to give a lot of XP. So is this red camp. So these items are available. Oh, wait. Maybe it's not. Maybe it was crept. Uh... He, like, passed over, but I still have the red dot on my minimap. Instead, gonna try to break this main base, uh, this expo a little bit. Gyros are gonna push them back. And a little stalemate here. Maybe the undead wants to resume creeping. Not quite. A little bit of a stalemate here. Humans try to figure out what he wants to do, but I can tell you what you need to do. You need to get this boy right here, level 3, ASAP, before all of the creep camps are taken from you and the undead has map control. And Fila knows this. Fila knows he's behind in hero levels. Fila knows he's behind in unit composition. Although not for much longer, because now we're at 56 food. But if you can start dominating the hero levels, you have a chance. But now the pally's out. Unfortunately stuck. Hate to see this. Always a problem with the human army. And I, I say it every time. Uh, an undead death knight can slip in between this crack right here. But a knight can't slip through this. It's like wild. It's wild. Death knight's like a cat. Just turns into liquid and can slip through any crack. Deciding to match the economy lead of Johnny here. Getting an expo up. Love to see that. Gonna want to get these towered up. It's starting to level up. That MK and Pally. See, would love to see the MK around level 3 right now. The MK is definitely falling behind in hero levels. And is going to be almost the same level as the Paladin. And now these two are splitting XP. So I, th I would say the MK is objectively behind right now in, in hero levels and should be right around where the Lich is. So I'm going to take this down, get a nice lion horn of storm winds, get a little Devo. Devotion aura there, very nice. Granting 1.5 armor to the army. Love to see that. Nice arm. Nice army, nice item. Destroyers are here. Gonna need to make sure you're devouring anything you can to get these orbs of uh, annihilation rolling so you can start killing knights. A lot of knights. This is starting to get really scary. You're now getting into scary human army territory. The right click army. Auto attack Andy. Now, if I'm the undead, I have fallen. Now the undead's fallen behind. I mean, you do have the hero levels. You could potentially get some nice Archmage nukes, right? There's no Involved Pot on the Archmage. But these knights are going to destroy your fiends. Slice and dice your fiends. Lionhorn with Storm was dropped. I saw that there. Not sold. That was a little mistake as well. Maybe we want to pull this Death Knight back. It's not going to be able to soak any of this XP. And it's going to, you know, take the Lich's share. Meanwhile, if uh, if Johnny stumbles over here, he's going to have a Lion Horn of Stormwind, which isn't going to do him much good. As he, he'll have Devotion Aura on the Pally anyway, potentially, even though he did take um, Divine Shield and Holy Light, so you'll keep it for now. But that's an extra chunk of gold that is now being denied from Fila. And it's just sitting there waiting to be claimed. Alright, gonna try again to just push in this human expo a little bit, but not quite. Want to instead take this breaker down, get a nice free kill here. Prevent that breaker from being a nuisance later on. But you have to be careful here, Fila. You, you're about to go up against a 78, now 81 food, knight copter army. Those copters can be able to slaughter those destroyers, and they are starting to do work. The knights are just chopping away at the death knight. Trying to get some Nova Coils onto the heroes. Pally is very weak. Pops the Devotion. Divine Shield, sorry. Death Knight falling really low. Gonna pop its own Divine Shield. And the Knights are starting to go to town. The Sundering Blade slicing and dicing up these fiends one by one. It is so hard to defend against the Sundering Blades. 
Focus fire on the Lich. Lich is falling, and it has fallen. DK now standing alone at level 5, wants to get some nukes on that Archmage. It does force the Archmage to TP. It could be just enough to get your Lich back online, and you, you know, you have an expo, you have a lot of gold. You need to start pumping out an army now, yesterday, because this 79 food human army, with and all it's missing right now really is a pally, this Archmage should get healed back up in no time with a shot. Which he's heading on over. He's probably going to buy a health pot and a heal scroll. Get healed back up. This human's going to be right back in your face. You need to get units and get them quickly. A boneyard potentially transitioning over to Frosties. And we do see the lion horn of storm when you're staring at it. You're thinking about it. You do want to pick it up, don't you? Come on. You got this. Pick it up. Are you waiting? What are you waiting to buy? There you go. If you don't want to sell it, it's okay. I'll sell the Ring of Regeneration, all right? Get the Invuln. You're going to need that Invuln. You're definitely going to get targeted. Stormbolt. Holy Light. This Archmage is incredibly vulnerable position. No Invuln Potion available. It was just purchased. And no TP. You're going to need to pick one of those up, or this Archmage is dead. And that could really turn the battle around with some good kiting and a dead Archmage. The human could be in a bit of trouble, especially if you get that army back up. Archmage under the effect of the heal scroll right now, so healing up slowly, getting ready for the next battle. And the undead as well, and, and we are now at that time in the game. Every creep camp is crept out, including the reds. And now it's just about potentially, you know, you have 2,000 gold. Do you push to a 100 food army and just all in? Got mortars here to try to break the undead base. Frosties are coming. Uh, I, I, you have an 80 food army. It's a strong army. Frosties can definitely do a lot of damage to heroes, a lot of damage to knights. A town is under the copters now have to, you know, choose between the destroyers and the frosties. Outside of that, really no anti-air besides Water Elementals and the Archmage. And the Undead, now with a strong army. 80 food versus 82 food. Johnny is in high upkeep. Getting taxed by our Warcraft politicians. 60% tax rate, imagine that. Every dollar you're taking home, 40 cents. Oof. And here we go, another battle underway. Knights slicing and dicing the fiends up. Gyro's doing what they can to take down this air. Focus fire on the pally. Divine shield popped. DK trying to get into a good position here. Potentially going to nuke down a different hero. Starting nukes onto the Archmage. But meanwhile, this auto attack army of the human is devouring the undead. 64 food now for the undead as the fiends are falling one by one. Focus fire now on the Lich. Lich pops the divine shield just in time. And gets healed up fully with the level 3 coil. Very nice attention detail as the Archmage, a, a, a slight slip in micro here, does fall from the A-bombs. Knights are now starting to fall, 76 food, but the Undead army is becoming basically nothing. Gonna need another Death Coil onto the Lich there, gets it just in time, but you need to watch out. And Fila does submit, GG! 2-0 for Johnny! Wow! What a performance, and a nice smooth 2-0 by Johnny, our human competitor. Really nice, love to see it. Well played, Johnny, well played, Fila. I hope you both watch this one back, try to see what you did wrong, where you can improve. Overall, not bad. It's just when the human gets up to that army composition of mass knights, mass copters, and you have fiends and just one or two destroyers like that, it's so hard to defend against. I mean, Sundering Blades are going to devour... They're just going to annihilate your fiends. And if they have that critical mass of gyros, you're not going to be able to handle that either. You're going to be forced to move those units around. You really got to get those focus fires on those weak heroes like the Archmage. You did get the pally almost killed. But then, you know, the trade-off there was then your Lich got focus fired. So it was just so tough there. But really good games from our opponents here. Fila versus Johnny. Johnny did take it 2-0. Very good series. And with that, I, I want to see if we have any other matches here. I don't believe we do at the moment. We will be back tonight, uh, I think around 10 p.m., so around six hours from now, uh, Pacific time. Uh, but if you want to know more about Jim Newbie League, exclamation point Jim in the chat. But even better than that, 
why don't I just show you a trailer about what Jim Newbie League is all about?